Good morning. It is 6.15 in the morning, and today I'm planning on getting uh, six dump truck loads of gravel. So I'm going to try to widen our circle driveway today. So it is just not wide enough. To the, originally, this is one 15-foot wide piece of Tipar, kind of curved around in front of this house and covered with gravel. It's going to look, it looked originally something like this. You kind of have to fold that Tipar and curve it around. So, and uh, that is just not wide enough to park on one side and to drive around your vehicle, the other, the parked vehicle on the other side. So you end up getting off the side. This whole inside of this curve was just all just ruts and mud because we always, uh, to drive around the vehicles parked, you always just got off the edge. You ended up retting the whole edge up. So today we're gonna try to widen this out. So I ran short of tie par. I thought I had enough tie par to maybe do this whole job. And you can see, I kind of ran short. So this should have probably angled over and gone back to here. So uh, it would have been nice if I would have had at least uh, an extra 20 feet maybe of tie par. So we're gonna we're gonna cover some of this right here. We're actually gonna end up covering covering the put the gravel right on the grass. Um, I just don't have the tie par. That's the way it's gonna be. Um, also, we want that to kind of flow the same direction, so it should flow across here. So right here in this green grass area right here uh, to make it drive uh, the driveway kind of flow out toward the exit. Uh, we probably will fill in this little green corner here with some gravel too to help the flow of the driveway. So the last couple days we've kind of got prepped for this knowing that the gravel truck was coming. So what we've done is we've raked this gravel back and then we've laid our tie par down and then we've covered the edge of the tie par. So the, the tie par, you can see the edge sticking out there a little bit, but the tie par is all kind of tucked in and covered with gravel along the edge of the existing driveway. So it's all ready. We've took some extra gravel and we just kind of laid that out on top of it to keep in, if we got a good wind, to keep it from moving. And it'll help maybe help hold it in place a little bit as the truck drives over it. But we did not staple this down, take the time to staple this down. This is a quick, a quick thing to just get moving on this project. Uh, one other thing we did is there were some trees in here. You can see, you can see the dirt mound. There's right, right there, right there. There's a, right there. There was three trees right next to the driveway. We cut them down. I think we cut down a, like a tree here and a tree over in here somewhere too as well. But we ended up cutting down like five trees last night as well. I think we were out here till like eight o'clock last night. So. One other thing we're going to do besides this is we're going to make a parking area off the driveway. And it's right here. Again, this is only one piece of tie par. It's 15 feet wide. I will make this wider than that. If I had more tie par, I would have, I would have made this closer to 15 to 25 feet total width. Um, but what we're going to do is we'll just put gravel down here. We'll go a little bit wider. And this is going to be... The future driveway into a pole barn that's going to sit out here later so this is going to be a, a pole barn half will be a garage half will be a woodworking shop um, in the future that may be a few years down the road but in the time being we're going to make a little parking area right here and we're going to set one of our carports that we have up front we're going to move that out here later and set that on top of here and then this will give us a parking area that is covered next to the house so Today what we're going to do is we're going to, well, first hopefully they should be bringing two inch, um, two inch uh, white rock or limestone and that is going to be the base. So a two inch, a two inch limestone rock is going to be something like this. You know, they're going to be about uh, kind of a rough two inch diameter and uh, we're going to lay that down. That's going to be the base and then we're going to cover that with, um, I guess what I'm calling a CA6. They've got so many different names for gravel mixtures and everything, but basically it's going to be a mixture of, of rock dust all the way up to three quarter inch rock. And that will fill in kind of the gaps of the two inch and then it'll make a nice covering on top of the two inch. It'll help lock all of that together. And uh, so we're getting two loads of the oversized just to get kind of a base on top of the tie bar. And then we're getting four loads of the CA6. At least that's our original order. We'll just have to wait and see how the day goes. Uh, I may be short on two inch and have to get an extra load of two inch, but uh, we'll see how the day goes. Uh, loads could start showing up as early as seven o'clock today. So I'm up early, ready for, for the gravel trucks to show up. 
So um, they could be here anytime. So we'll be back here in a second when they start laying some gravel. Well, I got my six loads of gravel and uh, it pretty much covered everything here by the house. Um, it's not nice and even right now. The tractor, I used the tractor and that thing just kind of frustrates me because if I try to use it, I got the box blade attachment on there. If I try to use it like a box blade, it's, it seems like it kind of pulls down and, and digs in and then it starts flipping that two inch rock back up to the surface and then I get two inch rock on top. And if I try to back drag it um, it just doesn't you know try to use it backwards it don't work real well anytime there's a place your tractor tires dip down it digs in so all the unevenness just makes you make more unevenness it's not really the best thing in the world uh, to use in my opinion um, it just seems like I make it worse trying to use the tractor so I, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get a drag I always I think a drag just works better it'll just kind of even everything out better so I'm going to go borrow a drag today, hopefully, and we'll just kind of run this over with a drag and hopefully that'll kind of even this all out and kind of get rid of the little bumps and everything. So um, they are going to bring another load. They are bringing one more load. I asked for one more load. So I'm going to get a total, I'm get a total of seven loads today. I've got a place on the driveway where... Um, it kind of dips down before you get to the barn back there. There's a place where the gravel has always been thin. And it's not on very thick. And the tie bar is actually showing through. Um, so we're going to try to cover up that section and put it on and try to make that section of the driveway uh, thicker. And then the extra gravel, we're going to dump in a pile next to the barn so that I can uh, use that uh, for projects around here. If we end up with any thin spots in here, I can take it and fill it in with that gravel. So uh, hopefully when we're done, we'll have a, a pile of gravel back there that we can use uh, here on the property as things come up. Well, the circle driveway is nice and wide now, so from the width of the driveway is probably close to 30 feet wide now. So that's plenty of space to be able to park a vehicle and have enough room to get out of the vehicle on each side, plus have room to drive around it. So we didn't have that before. Uh, previously, we would either try to drive around it and we would rut up the inside, and then sometimes we would try to park so close to the edge we would rut up the outside so we ended up with mud on both sides of our driveway and it just wasn't the ideal situation uh, to be able to park and drive around so plenty of space to be able to drive around it 
so it gets 30 feet wide somewhere over here next to where we added this little parking area and uh, that 30 feet wide area it goes all the way around in front of the house and then somewhere over here it starts tapering down back down to 15 feet toward the telephone pole which is where the other side of the circle driveway meets so uh, we've got enough room probably you know from over here around in front of the house over to here to probably park at least five or six vehicles and still be able to drive around them plus we've added at least a space for two vehicles here now this area right here we're gonna it's gonna have several phases so it's just a gravel parking area right now um, we have a carport we're gonna put there so we have a carport that's actually up front that we used as a picnic shelter because we used to live out here in our camper for a year as we built our house so that that carport that we used as a picnic shelter we're going to bring that back here and put that on top of this gravel pad so we can have a little bit of protection for some vehicles now um, I don't know if I'll be able to move that soon because it's 18 feet wide I don't know if I'll be able to get that down the driveway so if I can't get that moved out here on our driveway um, I'll have to wait till winter time and bring it through this field here in front when the ground's frozen but later we'll have a carport here and then we're hoping in a couple years we're eventually going to build a pole barn workshop back here and this will be the drive up to that that uh, new pole barn uh, so hopefully we'll have that in a couple years but that'll be a ways down the road but overall i'm really happy with the way this driveway turned out when we first put this circle driveway in we we realized pretty quickly it just wasn't wide enough so we knew we wanted to widen it so we um, save back some money earlier this year we've been just we've been waiting for the right weather to do it um, so this was a really big project so the whole driveway is around a quarter of a mile long when you count the circle drive and before we just widened it today we already had close to ten thousand dollars in this driveway from the front of the road all the way back here so if and now we've just added seven more truckloads, which is going to get us close to $2,000 right there. Somewhere around $1,800 probably for those trucks. So we're getting up to probably close to $12,000 for this driveway so far. I think this is the end. I think we've got it complete. This finally, you know, finishes this, this project up. So if you keep that in mind, if you move in the country and you want to see, we bought 41 acres and we've kind of put our house right in the middle of it, wanted some privacy. So if you want to pay for that privacy and have your house off of the road, keep that in mind that a driveway can be an expensive investment, even if it's just gravel. So hopefully this, this whole project's done now, and this should wrap up the whole gravel driveway project. If we have to add any more gravel, we may have to widen this area out a little bit wider, depending on the width of the pole barn that we end up getting. So right now this is only about 18 feet wide, and... Uh, you know the pole barn may be 30 feet wide or something like that so we may have to add a little bit more gravel onto this in the future but overall the driveway is complete it's been a big project we've been working on it i think since 2015 or 2016 uh, trying to get this driveway in we've put it in this is the fourth time we've added to it so it's been in like four different sections we've added gravel to this so but overall happy with the driveway Happy with it being a lot wider in front of the house. Should have done that at the beginning, you know, when we first did this in front of the house. Um, so keep that in mind, too. If you want enough room to park on it, you know, give yourself plenty of width. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.